Good morning, good afternoon, whatever it is, wherever you are. It's me again, Jen. Hello. And we are still looking at the Star Spinner Tarot, which is a really cute tarot deck. Lots of pastels, lots of fun colors. It does come with a nifty little book that has, it's actually pretty substantial. It's got some of the information in it on each card. And I will say that it's pretty basic as far as like the information on the cards. You can probably use any book, but it is a nice little book. It's got pretty little pictures in it and stuff like that. It's a pretty standard Rider weight based deck. So if you are used to reading with a Rider weight tarot, you're probably going to get most of the symbolism, or at least you're going to know what the cards are supposed to mean. Like the devil. I'm pretty sure, yes, it does say the devil on it. And this card is number 15 in the major arcana and this is one of the most interesting devil cards i think i've seen in a long time it is very pastel colors as most of the deck is we've got our two characters who would be the lovers in the other deck or in the other cards which would be the lovers card they are chained instead of being free and a kind of a more masculine character over here more feminine down here and we have our devil character in the middle, who is very Lucifer-esque, very the fallen star, the fallen angel sort of character. The arrogance on the face of this character is just absolutely astounding. And this is a devil who is, we've seen this in a couple of different decks, but it's not typical to the Rider Waite. So the Rider Waite usually has a very like the horned god sort of devil aspect. There's horns and he's got the beard and all of those kinds of things and maybe the goat feet. But in this case, it's very angelic looking. Again, it is Lucifer maybe before he falls or as he's falling. And the chains are in the background behind him. He is free, but he has all of these chains behind the character. And I just, again, so many of these cards have like, the best expressions on their faces, even for being very cartoon-like faces, there's so much emotion in them. And you can just see the arrogance of this character. And that's very much what the devil card represents, is that arrogance that I can do what I want, nothing can harm me. Even though these things are bad for me and I know they're bad for me, I'm going to do it anyway. And forget what you have to say about it, forget what you think. I absolutely adore this as the imagery because it also kind of doesn't make it seem like it's about that the devil made me do it sort of thing. It's the arrogance of the individual and knowing that, you know, you have a choice. You can lean into these things and be arrogant and be narcissistic about things without being ugly. You can be very attractive. And I think that that's a really good representation of this card as opposed to like the monster that we think of with the devil. So I really like this. The pastel aspect of it obviously kind of tones down the, the evil, the wickedness side. But the fact that it's kind of pink and blue and he is very much like the brighter, redder, more passionate color. And then you have almost the shadows of the two characters in the background who are more affected by his arrogance. They are chained by it. They are abused by that. And I think to some degree, too, you could apply this to individuals that we know. So like people who are kind of narcissistic and things like that, the people around them are the ones who suffer. They are like, no, everything is fine. Everything is wonderful. But sometimes, too, they carry with them that victim aspect of, oh, it's because you don't understand me and you don't understand what I'm doing. And I'm doing this for your benefit or that kind of thing. I just can hear this character saying all those things. I can hear this character saying, oh, well, I'm just better than that. Or you just don't understand. Or it's all your fault that you're like this. Uh, you knew what I was like when you met me. All of those kinds of things are represented with this character. So as far as liking the energy of this card, I definitely think that it has all of the devil energy without being the horned god sort of thing 
where it's the angel after he has fallen. It is a demon. It is a monster. Instead, it's the angelic being of never really trust a pretty face. So I'm enjoying these cards. I'm enjoying working with all of the star spinner energy. And I hope you are too. And until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy, and watch out for those pretty faces. Bye!